Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltex Technically Speaking. Today, we're here with one of my old favourites, a 1979 Mark II Ford Escort. Tech. We get a lot of questions from people who are fitting high-tech new engines into older cars. Now this is a brilliant conversion and can save a lot of time and result in a beautifully driving car. So we went out and found exactly that. A beautiful retro car that's fitted with a new high-tech engine. Let's open the hood and take a look. So take a look at this. Not what I first expected when I opened the hood on this Ford Escort. It's a Honda S2000 engine, the F20C. And that's right, S2000, not RS2000. It's a two litre engine, revs to nearly 9,000 RPM and makes 250 horsepower in factory trim. Coupling this factory 250 horsepower engine with this 900 kilogram car, well, you do the maths. This will be a super fast, super reliable, super factory setup. Now, this is normally the part of the Technically Speaking videos where I'll go through and point out all of the modified things on the engine, gearbox. In this case, it's all standard. It's got a standard Honda S2000 gearbox, clutch and flywheel. It's got the standard engine. It's even got the standard extractors that have just been slightly modified to get around the steering column. The beauty of this setup is that we're using all of the factory sensors, manifold pressure, factory idle control, throttle position, factory crank and cam sensors. We're using the factory sequential injection, the factory direct fire ignition, and the factory cam control. Now this is all mated to a stock wiring harness from the Honda AP1. Inside the car, we've got the factory ECU connectors just sitting, waiting for an engine management solution. Because the heart of the Honda S2000 has been transplanted into this Ford Escort in its entirety, Engine management wise, the ECU thinks this is a Honda S2000. So we can use the Honda AP1 Pro Plug-in ECU to run the engine. With the Honda AP1 Pro Plug-in ECU on board, we've got full control of the engine. We're utilizing all of the factory sensors. So our air temp, coolant temp, our throttle position, our manifold pressure, all of the calibrations are already done for these factory sensors in the supplied base map. Our VTEC solenoids are all controlled, so we've got full control over our VTEC switching points. We've got full control over our direct fire ignition and our sequential injection. So once we plug the unit in, we've got our full control over everything. It's time to get it on the dyno and give it a run up. So there you have it. If you're planning on fitting a late model engine to your early series car, and you've found a wiring harness for your late model engine that's in really good condition, check out our Pro plug-in range to make sure that you can get a Pro plug-in so you can plug it straight into your factory wiring harness, utilize all the factory options. The base map is already loaded into the Pro plug-in ECU, so you should be able to plug everything in, power up the harness, turn the key, she'll start and run, and you're ready for tuning. <laughs> 